my internet friends and welcome back to my channel so I just thought I'd do a little video and I thought I'd start it with my really quick make me look alive makeup routine because everybody is having babies or everybody's busy or so you're either busy having babies or you're furloughed basically so for the busy people who don't have a lot of time to get ready i thought i'd show you my extremely quick makeup routine so this is what i do every day for work it's super fast it's just to make me look healthy instead of like this and as you can see i don't have the best skin in the world so i need a little bit of help so i thought for anybody who's a new mum out there and just needs a super quick makeup routine just to make themselves look alive, I thought I'd show you mine. Um, excuse my greasy head as well. I'm a bit of a mess, aren't I? I'm in my dressing gown. It's all good, you know. Lockdown. Anyway, I've just you wouldn't probably be able to tell, but I've just used my favourite thing in the world, and that is dry shampoo. Now this one catfished me. It's a collab with Skinny Dip, as you can see. And it's covered in the peach design. And the scent is naughty. Now, I thought it was going to be peach flavour. It isn't. Ow. It isn't. It's very floral. So I was a bit disappointed when I smelled that, but still it does the job. My favourite scent, which I've actually just used up before this one, was a pineapple scent. I think it was called Pink Pineapple. It was really, really nice. Um, I've also got another one that's a collaboration with Skinny Dip. And this one's got butterflies on. And this flavour is nice. So I wonder what that one will smell like. I'll show you everything that I'm going to use. I've already put some moisturiser on. But I'm going to try and not like edit it. You know like sometimes you'd speed it up. I'm going to try and not do that. So you can see actually how long it takes. But I'm going to show you my products. So I've put my moisturiser on. That's all soaked in. I'm loving these L'Oreal Paris Infallible More Than Concealers. So I've got like this super pale one. Which is in the colour Porcelain. And it is like so pale like it is like white got the wind outside and then i've got this one which is in the color vanilla which is a little bit darker not a lot darker but it is i also have this one which is biscuit which is mm, they're all pretty similar really but this one's the darkest and sometimes i think i look a tiny bit orange because i am quite pale so I'm going to use them too. So I'm loving these, especially because they are super easy to use and there's no mess. So they have this big, is it a dofa? So you can just put it on your face with no mess. So that's that makes it super quick. And then I've got this finishing powder, mattifying powder by Maybelline. I've got this collection bronzer. And I've got this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I don't rate this. I'm just using it up because it needs to be used. But I don't rate that at all. This is, I've probably said this three million times, but this is my all-time favourite mascara by Maybelline. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to use. Um, Got anything else I want to show you? This is my all-time favourite deodorant, for anyone who cares. It's the Mitchum Roll-On and it's unscented. Which means, you know when you put normal deodorant on and then you get a little bit sweaty and you can smell like sweaty deodorant? This doesn't do it because it's not fragrant, so you just don't... If you get a little bit warm, you can't smell anything. So I need to get some more of this, actually. All-time favourite thing ever. Um... I've got this setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I actually use every single day. And I've had this well over a year. 
and there's still there's still life in it yet so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so the thing i start with is concealer and it's the palest one and i just i hope you can see from over there i just do little dots like that under my eyes and then i get the darker one and i just do a couple of stripes on my cheeks like this a little bit on the chin and a little bit on the forehead and then i think this is actually a eyeshadow brush but well, sorry it's a bit minging but with this little brush i just spread out the dots under my eyes just to like hide the dark circles and spread it down like that and then I get this stipple brush I just blend everything in with this I prefer using a brush to a sponge on my hands but I just use this to cover up any spots just to even out the skin make me look a tiny bit healthier although this is all quite pale and I tend to use the bronzer to make myself look extra alive sorry I'm not talking just go like this just to blend it a little bit so it's not just like stops here you know what I mean so I think that's all blended nicely and then get yeah the finishing setting powder this one and then with a big fuzzy brush it's a really big one this brush is from Wilco's I just I don't even use a mirror I just go over everywhere really quick I've also put lip balm on before I started as well like that and then I use the bronzer to make myself look a little bit more alive kind of just go all over with the bronzer and then wherever I want a little bit more colour just like go over again I mean you don't have to do that obviously but I've heard I don't know whether this is a new thing or what but if you put bronzer like here it's meant to make you look younger but I don't know whether that's true I've been enjoying putting it there anyway. Put a little bit down my neck as well. Because I've got like seven chins. If it creates a little bit of a shadow under there. You know, every little helps, doesn't it? There you go. I don't bother with eyebrows, as you can tell, for like work. Before I put mascara on, I put the setting spray on, simply because if I put mascara on, when I spray the setting spray, I scrunch my eyes up and I end up with panda eyes, which nobody wants. Give it a little shake. Me lids, me presser things starting to stick as well. There we go. And while that's drying, I do my mascara. And then by the time I've done my mascara, my face is dry as well. It has a really big brush. 
can see that. Depending on what mood I'm in, I'll either go over them once or if I can be bothered, I'll go over them twice. I don't really need to go over them twice, but sometimes if I want them to look a bit fluffier, I'll go over them twice. But for the sake of the quickness, I think I'll just do them once, just so you can see that it's pretty quick. And I've been filming this clip for 10 minutes. And obviously I was chatting at the start, but there we go. Obviously it's not a full proper face of makeup. You can still see my spots and stuff, but I don't look as scary. <laughs> That's the most important thing. And I look a little bit more alive. And a little bit more presentable for the world. Obviously people would probably put lip stick on, but... I'm not impressing anyone, am I? Let's be honest. But yeah, there we go. Look alive. Anyway, I've also got something else to show you today. I've got... Dun, 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 I've got Cherry's delivery. That's just arrived today. So, you're in for a treat. This channel should just be like called cherries and amy or cherries of i don't know <laughs> something cherries related because that's all i seem to do i have got a little everything five pounds order coming as well which we tried to deliver my parcel the other day and they took it back to the royal mail place which is really annoying because if it was a normal delivery man he usually puts it in my blue bin and they didn't do that so yeah let's go downstairs and i'll show you that you want to see cc i know some of you enjoy seeing her she's in a little bed oh is that a little princess speaking hey hello oh my goodness big yawn hey so yeah let's go downstairs i think i need a wee wee's i've changed my mind i'm gonna have some dinner it's actually five to two now but i'm gonna have some dinner and then i'm gonna show you but there is the box excuse my they're a bit embarrassing i might as well show you now mate and i because you've seen them my dad and my stepmom bought me these they're not the trendiest thing in the world but i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love them they're like fake crocs <laughs> with furry bits inside and they've got mud on because i wear them <laughs> um yeah they're not my most trendy thing I own, but I'm not going to lie to you, I really like them. <laughs> so, thanks for them. Um, yeah, I'm going to have some dinner. I think, I know I shouldn't be in things like this, but I think I'm going to have cheese on toast. I wonder why I've got 700 chins, but I think I'm going to have some cheese on toast. Do you want to see my gnomes? Matt got me salt and pepper shakers for Christmas because... Um, I didn't have any. I don't like pepper, so the pepper man doesn't have any pepper. So he's just for show. But my salt man, he's full of salt. We don't actually use salt very often, but there's my little salt man. And they sit in front of the hub, in front of the hub, at the back of the hub, just chilling. It's that time. And it's that time to sit in the window like a weirdo. Hopefully no one goes anywhere because I think people think I'm strange anyway around here. I know I am strange, but you know, I got my cuppa, my cat mug, and I'm sorry if you can see me, um, me knickers drying on the maiden through the door, but you know, we're just going to keep it real. 
and this is what real people do, isn't it? I'll try the knickers in the kitchen. So here's my box. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. This is me massive box. So, Matthew, if you're watching this, click off now. I don't think he watches my videos, so I think we're all right. Dylan, if you're watching this, don't tell your dad, okay? Don't tell him anything. Because, let me get my scissors. It's got loads of snacks in, from what I can remember. And... Valentine's Day I thought you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get Matt's favorite snacks and put them in a gift bag and that's gonna be his Valentine's Day present because we don't really do Valentine's Day she says buying loads of snacks for Matthew but do you know what I mean like it's not soppy we're not soppy people Matt will probably get me a bunch of flowers and I'll be happy with them but I thought just usually I get Matt like a big box of lint but he had lint for his birthday and Christmas and stuff like that so I thought I'll just get him his favourite snacks and throw them in a bag so again if you're new to my channel hi hello I love cherries as in the, the online place they come with this really nice tissue paper and they come quite packaged well. Ooh. And I don't think I've addressed that I um, I reached 900 subscribers. So thank you so much to anybody who subscribed. Um, that's madness. I remember reaching like 200 and something and being gobsmacked. So I'm really, really grateful for anybody who's subscribed. This would have come in handy a second ago. But... This is not a gift for Matthew. And it's toaster bags. Who remembers toaster bags? They're like the best idea ever. You basically make your sandwich with cheese in or whatever, squash it together, shove it in this little bag and then put it in the toaster and it melts. Genius. So I got them. I didn't even think they existed anymore. Right. These are for Matthew. They are sweet and salted popcorn. Oh, it's quite a big bag. Sweet and Salted is Matthew's all-time favourite popcorn. These are for Matthew. Flips Strawberry Cheesecake. I've never actually tried these. Um, I think I would probably like them. But Matt's all-time favourite dessert. <clears throat> Bloody hell, frog in my throat. Dessert is cheesecake. So he should like them. These are also for Matthew. Pretzel, sour cream and chive. All of these things are like around a pound as well, like one pound to two pound. I got him these mango chutney poppadom curls. I think he loves them. I got him these cookies. Mm, how am I going to keep them or give them to him? Depending on how many things he's got, I might keep these for myself. We'll see. You know what? I'm going to make piles. Um, oh, this is definitely for Matthew. It's a sweet caramel with caramel syrup baking thing. Now, he loves things like this. But obviously, you have to make this yourself. Which you'll probably enjoy doing with Dylan. But I imagine he'll love that. I've got some cinema mix. I think they're for me because Matt's not a big sweet fan. So I think they were for me. <laughs> oh, I forgot about them. I got, oh, these were definitely for me. Or should I give them Matthew? I don't know. Dorito stacks. And these are Mexican chili salsa. So they're like Pringles, but the Doritos, if you know what I mean. Ooh, I got him pom sticks. Now you get these on holiday, but some places over here sell them. I got him two bags. I got him paprika and salt and vinegar. So I got him some pom sticks. They're just really, really skinny 
crisps basically. These are for me, for the cupboard, nice and spicy knickknacks. These are for Matthew. He likes on a weekend something like this for his dinner and these are Go Noodles in the flavour curry. So I imagine he'll enjoy them. I got him um, some salted caramel nut mix. These are a sumptuous sweet and salty mix of peanuts, pretzel sticks, fudge pieces and caramel flavour milk chocolate buttons. That sounds nice. They sound nice, don't they? Got now I don't really like these. Lion's mallows. They're the coconut mallow cakes. Well, Matt likes things like that. I got him the I did not choose that one, but you know, I actually ordered the plain Bourneville chocolate bar. But they've sent sent me. Sent me the old Jamaican dark chocolate rum and raisin. Now, I don't even know if Matt likes rum and raisin, but we'll see, eh? And I got him some dime bars because I know he loves them. This is like, this is a lot. I didn't think I got him that much stuff. Some batteries because I think my remotes are going to run out of battery soon. So I thought I'd better order some. I got the cat some scoopers. <laughs> Now these, I thought you only got one, but you get two, and they're really, 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 they're a really nice pink colour. Now I've got these for not her food, but her litter tray. So not to take poo out, I mean to put the litter into the tray when I'm like putting clean litter in. If you catch me drift, because my current um, cat litter bag is massive. And it's really heavy to pick up so i thought if i use a scoop to put the litter into the tray that's perfect so i'm glad they've arrived squeegee for the shower now the one we've got in the shower in the minute at the minute is um the same but blue but all the rubber bit on the ends come off why i've bought the same one again but in a different color i don't know i've also got this um ooh, chocolate dessert milker yum got matthew these masala peanuts i really wouldn't like them but he definitely would i've got two dime bars were they on offer these might have been an offer but if they weren't i've got a free one so i don't know i've got matt the turkish delights now i hate these you nearly couldn't pay me to eat one of them i absolutely despise them i think it's like eating perfume i got matthew the piri piri peanuts as well i like peanuts with a mad coating i bet they're nice i'd probably like them ones i've got the tiniest oh god it's open the bag's not though so that's all good the tiniest box of choco pops and it's got Paw Patrol characters on. Look how tiny that box is. Got, this has just come in time actually because I've nearly ran out with kitchen roll. Got this big roll of kitchen roll. Oh, we're nearly at the bottom. I've, oh, I forgot about this as well. Garlic and herb salt. What am I going to use this on? Chips? Is it a grinder? I think it's a grinder. Yes, it is a grinder. Oh, I remember this. I ugh, that is so runny. Why is it so runny? Look how runny this is. Ah, uh, it's like washing up conditioner. Washing up conditioner. Um, conditioner for your washing machine. Now that's put me off. But I've seen skinny sauces and whatnot, like syrups and things. But this is garlic mayo, but I'm a bit freaked out that it looks like fabric softener. Gluten free, fat free, zero dairy, vegan friendly, no added sugar, diabetic friendly. It's probably that liquidy because it's just garlic water, isn't it? I think this is it. The last item. Yeah. This is a jasmine and apple blossom, Bayliss and Hardin hand wash 
so that's it that is everything that i bought that was quite a lot majority of it edible but still that was a lot i'm not sure if i can give matt all that stuff that's a lot of things i might go through and sort it out see if there's anything i want to keep but i don't like a lot of the stuff he likes but we'll see eh he fell asleep on the sofa didn't we like you fell asleep on me but we both had a nap didn't we you know one of them naps when <sighs> when you don't really know what day it is when you wake up but I suppose you never know what day it is do you Saturday today. Where have you been? Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? How come you're not speaking now? Where have you been? What was that noise before you come in? What was it? Is it you? <laughs> no? Was it the lady next door? Hey? Kitty? Was it the lady next door? Was it your friend that comes and knocks for you? Or was it you? It was you. Okay. As long as we know who it was. So, after our nap. Yeah? After our nap. I don't feel great. You know on them naps where you feel ten times worse. And you're not hungry. Yeah? I'm not hungry. It's not your tea time. Um... So yeah, I don't feel hungry, although it's gone my tea time. Yeah. And I've decided I'm going to have a bath. And, um, I'm And I'm that person that lays out their pyjamas, you know, so they're ready for you to get out the bath for the shower. And for any 90s girls, or boys, out there, these are my pyjamas. Matt's sister got me these for Christmas. But if you're a 90s chick, you'll know this chick. Groovy chick pyjamas. How sick are they? I think ASOS was selling some groovy chick stuff. I don't know whether they still are, but if you want anything groovy chick, check them out. What are you doing? She's off her head. You're off your head, aren't you? Come here. Oh, she's just running around like a lunatic. So yeah, the bath is running in there. You can probably hear it. I've got a Soap and Glory bath bomb to use. I didn't even know Soap and Glory did bath bombs until I got it free in um, a boots order a couple of weeks back. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye!